Hello everyone and welcome back for some more crawl. And we've killed the hunt marshals and Borlo is basically dead so we're gonna go down south instead and kill some lizardmen in Skaven. Because we can ignore the vampires for now since they seem to be pretty much fine with us. But we also have this rebellion to deal with so we're gonna go and do that first. But before we do we're still in the red money wise but I had an idea. Because we've started to, to construct the tier 5 over here so we can just start demolishing these growth buildings. And all of these settlements have some kind of trading resource, so we can just build that. And we actually have a trade partner now, so we're going to make some money from that. So that's going to be at least a little bit helpful when it comes to our money. But our biggest income is, of course, fighting battles, so we're going to keep doing that. And this is, this is an easy auto resolve, and hopefully we can get some money from this. Yeah, that's... Actually, way more than I thought we would. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a cool 3k, just from that. Excellent. And we also have some leveling to do, and I don't remember what we were... Oh, right, we need Arcane Conduit, so let's grab Magical Reserves. You're just gonna grab Combat Stats, because that's all you need. And you're gonna get some armor. There we go. And now you can start moving down south. And we'll just pop you into Marsh Stance. And uh, I guess we'll go towards Chakwa. And start killing some Lizardmen. And you can start eliminated Borlo. Because that should be the last thing Borlo actually has. <laughs> How is that so much money from her? She's She was a rich little lady. Good for her. But now she's dead. And Bordelow is gone. Excellent. And we're feeling very healthy. So, we're just gonna keep leveling you in Flock of Doom. And uh, we're gonna rename you to The Gouger. Because he's, he's now a legendary character in our hearts. And uh, I'm gonna see what's in here. We can't really reach that though, but uh, I guess we could do that next turn. Oh, actually, we could probably... Ah, it's gonna cost a bunch of money. Never mind. I guess we'll check what's in here. I We might just peek our heads in and settle this, depending on how much money we have. We should get a little bit of money from just demolishing these. How much did we get for it? Uh, just 900 apiece, so... I mean, we'll we'll have a nice bank from it. That's gonna be nice, but first off... Oh, actually. Now nah, we're gonna ignore that for now. So, we can just pass the turn for now. So, oh. Sanesh got Sword of Cain. That's, <laughs> that's scary. Because, uh, well, they can actually benefit from all the negative control they get from it. But we still haven't seen any Skrulk army. The Lizardmen I get, because uh, they're not at war with us, so I'm guessing they're just focusing on Skrulk and Rakars for now. But uh, the player bias usually pops up a little bit, and uh, Skrulk does have some stuff here, so I'm a little bit surprised he hasn't sent anything north. But, I mean, it's fine. I'm just a little bit surprised. And we'll go and... Actually, let's just... Uh, all right, we're just gonna reach there anyway. We're gonna reach Chuck one no problem next turn. Yeah, we can't reach that though. Although, <laughs> that is a scary army. But we should be able to deal with that because we have really good anti-infantry stuff. Like half of our stuff, half of our things are at least anti-infantry. The rest is uh, kind of neutral or anti-large. So that's uh... okay. So there's nothing there. It is pretty cheap, so I think we're just gonna take a turn, nest in there, just to get the entire province, and... Uh, what do we grab? We can probably grab a little bit of control, because it is... Uh, we do have a little bit of problem in there, and we can demolish that, probably. So, let us get some trade, or is there anything else we'd like? I mean... This will give 6%, but I don't think that's worth. This will give a little bit of money. That's actually not bad. It's a use for our slaves as well. 
but how much would we make from this? So it's 50 right off the bat and I think it's like... Is dice one of those that's 10 per unit? Because I know a lot of things are 10 per unit. Those are 12, those are 11. Can we see what dies? Uh, where's die? Nine, okay. So it should be more if we can sell all of them. Same with, where's the herbs? Can't find the herb. Oh, there they are. Yeah, nine there as well. And pottery is seven. So if we're gonna skip any of them, it would be pottery. But that is still like, uh, well, Let's grab that in there. I don't want to have too many of them anyway, because uh, we don't want to spend too much slaves on it. But I think one of those are fine. Or we put them somewhere where we don't have tradables, maybe. I think that's probably smarter. So, yeah, let's upgrade all of these as well. Just get that money up. But we should be in the green next... Actually, how... Yeah, they, these all take one turn. So we should be in the green next turn. And we should get a bunch of money from just uh, killing stuff. Because that's that's like 5,000 in just loot and occupy value. So that's going to be pretty nice. And you don't have any kind of... Any kind of trade income or anything. Well, we can... We can grab some just money production there. It's pretty safe. So I think that's fine. Oh, they want a non-aggression pact. Well, I'm not too worried about them taking anything we want, really, because I think everything we want is on this side of the mountain. So I am think I might be okay with that. That's also going to put us on Rakarth. No, wait, you are not... You're not allied or anything with Rakarth. For some reason I thought you did. Huh. I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna say no in that case. Because Rakarth was real mad at us for... Fighting them. Yeah, so they do have some kind of relations with them. Hmm. Because I would like to be friendly with the Dark Elves. But Rokarth, I mean, he's growing. We're growing on him. So we might be some, have some friendliness with him soon. And there is so much play going on. Oh my god. But that's a nice little green number we got there. Oh, and the vampires are doing pretty well. But we are going to ignore them for now, like I said. And they're gonna have to deal with us, uh, deal, with deal with us trespassing. Oh, wait, maybe we aren't trespassing. No, there's their border. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. So, let's go and kill these assholes. And that is definitely another result. Oh, we can definitely... We can definitely raid this. Yeah, we can. And we can even take it. Yeah, so that's a nice little influx of money right there. And we finished the... We finished the province as well. Oh, and let's get rid of that. And some logs wouldn't be bad. Oh, and we get the mist stalkers. But we know about those. So they should be the same that... Uh, that Norska gets. Wait, where is... Uh, where's the Fianna Fim? Didn't we have one of those? Or did they... S Am I just... Did I make stuff up or did we have a regiment of renown earlier that was the Fianna Fim? Oh, this is the Fianna Fim. Wait, where's the... What's the Mistwalkers then? Because... I did think that uh, it was weird that Mistwalkers wasn't a thing here, but I guess these are the Mistwalkers and they just changed the names and stuff, but we already had this, I'm pretty sure. So I think that's some bug that's happening right now, because it confused the hell out of me. 
Um, yeah, but uh, that's fine. We're gonna just start piling in there. Oh, and now we have Arcane Conduits. Excellent. So, Hexwall can upgrade, but we basically upgraded everything we want here. I don't. I think we're okay with that, and I think we're gonna invest over here instead because we can get the the temple here now, and I think we're gonna get the nomad, nomad outpost and the temple in there. Oh, and we can definitely build a. We can't afford it. Well, we are gonna build a temple right there, but for now, let's just uh, get some money buildings and just keep getting that number in the in the green. And we can stop going over there. Oh, right. Um, yeah, let's just get the control for now. We'll take a lap soon enough and just see all of our commandments. But a little bit of control and uh, get that chaos corruption up is going to be pretty nice for now. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? We just established that they were starting to grow on us. Or we started to grow on him, but... What the hell? Why, though? Okay, fine. Call Skiggy. And I guess we'll have to go and deal with Vakarth then. So, I think we'll grab our secondary army and uh, send him towards Vakarth. We can, uh, yeah, we can just send him through here and work his way down here and just get out with by Hotel. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. That's That's my guess, at least. Ooh, and we can exactly get right in there. So, this is a lot of uh, a lot of scary stuff, but I think we can take this with crawl. So you are just gonna start marching over there. It's gonna take a couple of turns, but uh, seems like we have to deal with Rakarth. Oh, and we can actually get to Itza, which would also be pretty nice, but. Let's start with the sacred pools because I think we can reach either Hotel or Itza from there. And uh, this seems like a fun fight, so let me at him. So, a lot of stuff. We're gonna we're gonna pop off our our spell mastery because I think it might be needed. But this is gonna be a good fight. Okay, so first of all. Let's just go and pop the hounds right there, because they're going to be a little bit sneaky and we'll find a good use for them. Second of all, I think we're just going to set up up here on the high ground, because uh, we want to encourage blobbing. And if we just move in from here and hopefully just uh, engage them in the forest here, that's, that's going to be optimal. Because uh, blobbing is going to be great for our spells. And I think most of those little skinks are javelin skinks, so... They have a lot more shooting than us, so getting uh, getting to fight in the woods is going to be pretty good. So we're just going to put all of our infantry right there. Actually, we can just pop everything like so, because we're probably going to do a little bit of restructuring while we move, because we don't have a lot of space to actually deploy right here. So this is fine. So we're just going to... Wait, you're you're a Nuklavi. You're You're not supposed to be in there. So you'll, well, we'll ride you around and find something for you to do. And the tossers. And I don't mean that as the British kind of tossers, because they literally toss things. And they'll just be group four, and they'll move behind. They're not going to be as good in the forest either, but they have a lot more shooting than we do. So um, let's just pause this for one sec. We're going to spread up like so. We're going to... Spread these around, like so. Spread those around a little bit, like so. And you go in the middle. You can go to the flanks a little bit, like so. And I think that's everything. Oh, it's our front line, at least. And uh, I guess we can send, the, send you down like here, see if we can get a good, uh, a good flank on something. And here they come. Yeah, <laughs> all of those skinks are the javelin variant. Oh, they are actually coming to meet us, it seems. Or they're just posturing because they want to have their front line facing us. Which, now that I think of it, is probably a more likely 
likely thing that's happening. So let's just move over there. Because I want this downhill fight for us. That's just going to be good for us. And we are being a little bit sneaky here. Because they don't see these anymore. So that's just perfect for us. And yeah, they are just posturing. And uh, yeah, we can just uh, move all the way over there. Let's go to the woods. Just like planned. And we get to have to attack into this flank. And they're, they are gonna just... Okay, we need to pull you back a little bit. Because they are fighting us. Oh, and... No. It looked like they weren't a fan of fighting us. Because they seem to be starting attack. But this is, this is fine. So I guess, uh, yeah, you can you can just hang out there for now. So let's just get in position and uh, just move down. Oh, did I did that turn out weird? I think so. Let's go down there, and you will go down there. Even better if, uh, well, no, never mind. So let's uh, start moving you behind their lines. That's gonna really freak them out. Oh, hello. So, I guess, uh, just attack over there. Encourage the blob. Encourage the, the corner blob. We'll just pop you over there. And uh, we're gonna grab these guys. And they are gonna just uh, try to block off things that are gonna try to flank around us. Move you up behind and... Let them go. Because there's there's a lot of stuff in there. And we get to just attack into the skin cohorts. Uh, you stay there. Just fight over there. This is fine. This is fine. You're just gonna sit there and... Whoa. Oh. Crap. Okay. That was actually a pretty shitty cast for them. So... Mm, it's not so bad. Unless we have to... Oh, do we have to? No, okay. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, um, you should probably move over here. First of all, we're gonna get a big cast over there. Kill a bunch of skinks. There we go. Oh, you're a character. Never mind. And you're gonna start moving over here. Because they are... They're gonna start blobbing there real good. Oh, hello. And we're just gonna pop that right now. Let's move you over there. And we are gonna send you right in there. No, wait. You're gonna attack in there. The Nuclevees can... Right or... No, those are... Those are something else. We don't wanna do that. And here we go. We got Kraken's pull right there. Oh. They're uh, casting stuff too, but can't see anything. I don't know <laughs> how much damage we're doing or if we're casting this on our own stuff. Although, um, something here is taking a lot of damage. Oh, it's these guys. But that's going to be all right. Um, oh, like. So let's uh, send you over there. These guys. They're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Hounds, 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 hounds. I forgot about the hounds. Let's send them around. They can go into that, probably. Oh, hello. There's some blessed Croxigors right there. Let's ignore that and start shooting over there. And let us uh, get... Oh, big cast right there. Very nice. So, let's send you in into those. Oh, that's that's painful. <laughs> that's not a fan of that. But there's nothing we can do about that. These guys should be chomping. You're fine. Oh, those are Blessed Temple Guards. Let's get you out of there. And let's get you out of there. We'll cycle you into something else. Send you over there. Yeah, keep throwing into those. 
You can go and help. I mean, you're not going to be amazing against that, but that's fine. Ooh, that's a big-ass blob as well. Let's get a big cast in there. Very nice. And let's uh, just laser this guy, if we can. Or are we too close? I think we might be too close. That's alright. Let's uh, pull you out. Oh, these are... These are temple guards. That's why they're hitting so hard. Because we got... Two characters on, on them and an octopus. And they, they're still holding, which is incredibly impressive. You need to pull out your taking too much damage but you can just rear charge in there and you should be all right you can attack in there you should be all right let's send you back and send you back in and stay on top of that the Saurus warriors here are dying you need to pull back oh shit we're losing our fan beasts crap well I guess uh, we're gonna get the other uh, regiment of renown in that case and we are out of magic oh that is that sucks okay that's gonna have to be all right these yeah those are dead send you in pull you back get you out of there and okay you get out of there we can leave a little bit yeah this is uh, this is rough Let's not go into those. Let's uh, we kill that. And pop these right there. Yeah, start killing. That's gonna be good. I wish I had more magic. More magic would have been super. So, yeah. Let's just cycle charge that. And... Uh, uh, the Soros Warriors are dying at least. Let's send you in there. And we gotta deplete those a little bit, I think. And how are these still going? But I think that's... Yeah, that's arm losses. Okay, we took quite a bit of damage here, but... We're okay, and we'll have really good replenishment here. Yeah, so that was some heavy damage. But we only really lost a Fim Warrior and a Fen Beast, so... That's pretty all right. They had some really strong stuff and they had a lot more <laughs> of it. So I'm not going to say that, uh, that that should have been super easy because that, that was a hard fight. So we're just going to grab money, replenishment and a bunch of slaves. And we are going to sit here and replenish. And we are going to grab uh, this guy. And we're probably gonna gra grab this guy, unless... Uh, what do we got in here? We could get some more hounds and stuff. I would like some swamp demons, but... Since we only have this at tier 2, I, I guess that won't be a thing. But we could get some more hounds. But I think we already have a really good mobile core. So I think that's alright. Although... We are gonna sit and, and just replenish for probably like two turns here. So we might just grab uh, some new Fim Warriors. Yeah, and how are these compared to these guys? Yeah. These guys have a little bit more damage, but... Uh, I think I'd rather have the... The Fimir. I mean, these guys do have Frenzy, and they are unbreakable, so Frenzy is always going to be on. So they do have, effectively, 44 melee attack and uh, probably like 70, 74-ish weapon strength, which is really good. Yeah, maybe we'll keep you around. Oh, we have Blessings of the Dark Ones for some reason. Or is that just permanently on you? No, we... Oh, right. We sacked this. Okay, so that still went probably way better than uh, if we hadn't sacked last turn. So now I'm really thankful that we actually did that. But um, let's just uh, grab one of those and we'll get this when we are ready to go. 
Because we are going to need some replenishments. And do we want to upgrade anything here? We could grab the purple sun, but I don't think we need multiple multiple vortices because they already cost a lot of money. And it turns out we don't have very much mana. We could just pop this. Which would be alright, but I think uh, we're going to start going down the red tree here. Just get our stuff better. And we're definitely just going to grab the Bog Octopus tech. Because uh, we are the Bog Octopus Lord. And uh, those are just the Fim Warriors. And these are the Mistmore and Fianna Fim. Yeah. So I don't know which one we do there. I guess Bog Octopus and probably Fim Warriors, just to... We do have a lot of them, and uh, some weapon strength and melee attack for them is gonna be pretty nice. So, I think we'll go that route. we we'll just grab some more... Oh, you got two levels. And I guess Sorrow of Chaos, just take less damage from range stuff, more armor. But, still, that was a pretty good... Pretty okay result for a big 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 fight and we should definitely have a building there at least um, and we can get the the temple here now which I suppose we will because that will put us at three which uh, will put us at renegade god and that's gonna be pretty nice Oh, we can probably build a temple here as well. Yeah. It is orange, but that's alright. We're almost there, so... For now, let's just keep getting control and stuff. And that's gonna be fine. And I just realized a brutal business is on. So that definitely benefited them way more than it benefited us. Because they had... All of their stuff were basically infantry or kind of hybrid infantry stuff. So that was really good for them. And uh, I think that's part of why we took so incredibly much damage. Oh, and there's Rakarth. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have gone there. But, ah, eh, he can handle it. Who are you fighting? I do not make habit. You're fighting, fighting Itza as well. So that's fine. Upset. Oh, and I'm not even sure he can reach us. It doesn't look like it. Okay, good. Because I want to finish this recruit. I want to get my replenishment before I have to fight him. But yeah, we can definitely take this. Let's get into the dark shards. The hydras and carnosaurs and stuff can be a little bit dangerous. But then again, our range stuff is going to deal with that pretty well. And, uh, yeah. Our monstrous infantry is probably gonna be pretty good against it as well. So, we're gonna be fine with that. Let's, uh, let's upgrade that. Ooh, and just one more turn for this to finish. Although, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, really. I mean, we can get to the Bog Octopus if we want to. We can get to Fianna Fim Great Weapons or Demonomaniac, but, uh, I don't know if we're gonna go for that. I mean, they are gonna be a good anti-large unit, which that's true. So maybe grab that, and uh, we're gonna grab this probably as well, just just to boost our income a little bit more. Ooh, speaking of, does anyone want to trade? I am the well, the Aw awaken almost does, and oh, now these guys <laughs> do not want to deal with us anymore because uh, I guess because we're are fighting the Thousand Maws. Although, that is not a lot of it. What happened to your your eagerness? I guess it's because we took a lot of damage, so we're not as threatening anymore. That's probably it. And they want an aggression pact. Well, I think we're gonna kill you eventually, so I don't think I want to. Okay. So these guys are skulking skulking around over here. I don't want to fight them at the same time because they do have some pretty strong stuff. But 
what we can do is, first of all, grab that. It's gonna cost a little bit of money, but that is fine. I do have an annoying agent here, but... I'm gonna go and... Uh, sit right there. Can get in some reinforcement. Uh, can we? Yeah, we can still get some reinforcements here. And uh, we'll also get a little bit of replenishment. And if they want to go up and take sacred pools, let's just bring it. Because that would be glorious. That's... Oh, hello. Well, we'll uh, just keep marching. And now I kind of want a non-aggression pact with you, but... That's not happening. Oh, and they're fighting the Skull Takers. Alright. You're probably gonna get your ass... Well... That is <laughs> just a huge stack of Savage Orcs. But you're just a huge stack of Dark Shards. The Black Guard can probably solo half that army, but... The rest is gonna cut through your... Your archers, so... I think the Orcs win that. Yeah, probably. And let's... I mean, these are at risk of being conquered, so let's not do too much over there. We can grab some stuff over the, over there, though. And I guess that's all, our, all of our money. So. Well, we're at least recharging our magic here, so that's nice. But let's see if we can get an ambush. Okay. We didn't get an ambush, but... We did inter intercept clan pistols. Oh, what? They have... <laughs> they have black guards. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Uh, the rest isn't too bad. The black guards are pretty bad, though. That's... That's pretty good against all of our large stuff. But let's uh, just sacrifice some of these. We can debuff their melee attack heavily with our fog thing. And we can probably kill them with, by just throwing Fimir and uh, some throwing axes at them. So this will probably this will probably be okay. And I realize we're in friendly territory, so <laughs> we get to set up right freaking here. <laughs> oh, that is so fun! Oh, I love that. Oh, um, you can't set up. I'm gonna see if we can just... Uh, come on, let me... Oh, let me do this. Nah, we can't. I wanted to set my hounds here <laughs> to just pounce on the play claws, but... Oh, well, that's uh, that's alright. Where's the black guards? I don't want to go into the black guards. Uh, where's the black guards? Wait, where are they? There they are. Okay. So, avoid those guys. Let's uh, put all of the... Octopi over there will grab you guys are gonna throw at the black guards because you're mostly armor piercing You're just gonna throw it whatever you're gonna throw it whatever and uh, You're gonna be there. You're gonna be Let's just overload this with power You can be in the center. I believe you can be pretty all right against the black guards uh, What have I put up now? Right these guys so your the tossers gonna hang out back there. Actually, you can. Oops. Oh, group. There we go. You can just uh, try to maneuver around the black guard, and you'll be fine. So first of all, attack. Second of all, start throwing. And uh, do we have anything large here? Eh, uh, not really. So, let's just uh, move you up a little bit. And that should be about it. So, you're gonna go into those wolf rats. We can just uh, send you into those clan rat spears. Well, that was that was an attempt, I guess. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, let's send you back there if you'll let us. And uh, that is really good damage. So, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about those anymore. Let's uh, just get a cast right there. Let's stop those from shooting. 
And let's just... Uh, let's pop that. Let's throw some shit back there. Throw some shit back there. And you bastards. Are you cooking us? Can't have that. But the play claws are running away. Let's just pop that on top. That's fine. Kill those spears. You're you're fine. Don't worry about it. And the warp grinders are doing their best. But I don't think their best is good enough. Because here's Crawl. I didn't even tell her to go here, but she went there anyway. Yeah, so these guys are dead. You get to move back a little bit now because you've taken a lot of damage. Let's uh, throw you on that. Throw you, send you over there. Start draining you, please. And please kill those warp fire throwers. Oh, these are plague monks. All right, they're not breakable here. Keep mixing out my mixing up my <laughs> game modes, but the scaven are dead. Excellent. And the axe throwers were amazing. These guys only get, got 28 kills and they were just fighting one of these for s the entire battle. So I went really well. We are, ooh, that is a lot of replenishment and Rokarth is just around. So we got plenty of money from that. And we're gonna go and r fight Rakarth bas basically right away, I think. So let's just uh, grab some replenishment. Oh, they want us to join the war against the Drowned. I would like to see who the Drowned is fighting. Because I don't want them to come down, but... Is there any risk for that? And they seem to be fighting these guys. Oh, actually, we can extort the High Elves... No, Dark Elves for a war against the Drowned. Maybe we'll get some trade from them finally. Okay. The... Heralds of Ariel is finally dead. We get the forbi Forbidden Rod, which isn't bad. And that wasn't... No, that wasn't Lord Skrulk. I thought so. Wait, did did someone kill Rakarth? Wait. Um, I can't see it. But I saw him moving around there, so I think... I think Luther Harkon might have killed Rakarth. Which is pretty great, uh, honestly. So, let's just uh, start moving down here. I think we can get to Chamber of Visions next turn, finally. And uh, I want to see if we can just exchange some war against the Drowned. Nah, it's not enough. I would have loved that, um, that money. But there's not enough. She just really don't want to be friendly with us. They're really strong though, so that power difference might be what does it. But it's not that big of a power difference, honestly. So, hmm. Well, does anyone else want to trade? The Awaken does, but I still might just kill them eventually. So, let's not. But, um, I mean, we can go and kill them. Let Luther handle them. Can we? No, we can't even get there anyway, so I guess we can spend half of our movement. Go kill those guys. Okay. Go and kill those guys. That's not a result. That actually took a bit of damage there. Let's just grab the replenishment. And we are in friendly territory now, though. And these guys are... They actually have some pretty good stuff there. But we can... Let's actually get the... Get the mana re regeneration. And I think we can get to it's the next turn. It's gonna be a gold mine. and Because now we actually have a road. And hopefully Luther will focus on this guy. Because that would be preferable. So, let's uh, start building this. Did we start building the... 
yeah, we are building the temple over there, which is great. So in two turns, we'll have our Renegade God. And that's going to be great. Right, we were going down the red tree. And we do have to go with the Bog Octopus first, right? Yeah. Obviously. Just thematically, we have to, right? Just make them better and better. You can just... Uh, let's give them speed, maybe? Actually, I guess uh, you can have training. The other guy can start getting speed. Search bonus doesn't do much, because they're mostly in sustained combat anyway, so... Oh, the Gouger! He leveled. So, I guess we can grab... I guess we can grab Madcap Mushrooms. And he's gonna be immortal next turn, which is... He deserved it. Oh! But Lord Scroll attacked us! So this is exciting! Um... We are in friendly territory, so... At least I think we are. So we should get the um, vanguard on everything. But they do have some scary stuff. The uh, storm vermin are gonna be pretty strong, but at least now there isn't a... Uh, brutal business going. And uh, their artillery is pretty scary. But we should be pretty fine here. But we're gonna fight this next episode, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!